what is going on guys thanks for checking out this video my sports gematria in this video i'm gonna go over some ufc fights for saturday june 18th 2022 i'm gonna show you highlights of each side and it's gonna be up to you to determine who you think will win based on the numbers i encourage you to add additional information on top of this if needed for you to feel confident in your own picks i wish you guys the best luck on all your picks today let's go ahead and get into the matches we're going to be looking at UFC Fight Night, uh, Qatar, Cater, Cater or Qatar versus Emmett. Forgive me ahead of time. I'm going to butcher these names. And um, there have been a few people who sent me some links or to check out a channel, I think, that does pronunciations. I suck at it. It's, it's an ongoing thing. Um, but we're gonna look at all six of these one, two, three, four, five, six Gregory versus Julian, Demir versus Goram, Albert versus Joaquin, Tim versus Kevin, Joe versus Donald, Calvin versus Josh. We're gonna look at all six of these real quick. I'm not gonna spend a thousand minutes on them, I'm just gonna run through them quickly, but we are gonna look over them. On this side of the screen is what I call my daily numbers, date numerology, Gregorian Hebrew calendar. And then on this side of the screen is what I call my game numbers, numbers specific to the game. The way that I have it structured here is I have the name of the event up top. I have the stadium of where it's at, city, state, the weight class. And then right here is one fighter, his name, Gematria, his birthday to and from, his fight record, any type of winner or losing streak that he's on, as well as, as, well as his UFC record. In the middle is the head-to-head -head record between the two um for the gematria of it and at the bottom is the other fighter his name gematria birthday to and from fight record any type of win or losing streak that he might be on as well as his, as well as his ufc record all right so let's start with the first fight So the first fight here is Julian Marquez or Marquez versus Gregory Rodriguez. So let's look at some numbers for Gregory Rodriguez to win this fight, and then we'll look at some numbers for Julian Marquez to win this fight. So if Gregory was going to win this fight, one thing that would be interesting for him is he would sit on four losses for his career with a win, and this is his fourth UFC fight for his career. This will be the 19th day of the third month on the Hebrew religious calendar. 193, mathematically, is the 44th prime number. There's also 44 date numerology to go with. That could keep him on that four in his fourth UFC fight, kind of like a little 4-4 pattern. It's the 122nd day of his current age, and his name sums to 221. And Julian, in his 12th fight, can end his two-fight winning streak, 12-2, kind of like a... A two two one or a one two two, and then he'd also get his second UFC loss for his career. And um, Greg Gregory, I didn't mark it as blue. He would get his twelfth win for his career facing Julian in his twelfth fight. But uh, that's just kind of what I have right now for Gregory. For Julian, if Julian was going to win, maybe him his name something to one hundred and sixty eight is a little bit of favorite it's it's a day with 168 date numerology on the great the hebrew civil side uh, but it is a day with 46 date numerology on the gregorian julian could become four and one for a ufc record 41 written out uh sums to 46 and it's also 41 days since his 32nd birthday now even though gregory Gregory, <laughs> even though Gregory, you know, if even though Gregory sums to 221 and it's the 122nd day, uh, just reflections of each other, and Julian in his 12th fight could in his two fight win streak. However, the alternative to that would be in his 12th fight, he would sit on two losses for his career with the win and just pick up his 10th win. And, and then Gregory Rodriguez would become two and two for a UFC record with a loss. And I think that's about what I have for this one. Let's move on to the next one here. 
Oops, I forgot to change the ticker at the bottom. There you go. All right, Demir versus Guam. So we're going to start with Guam, and then we're going to go over Demir. So if Guam was going to win this fight, um, he would get his 13th win for his career. His 13th win. It is the 169th day of the Gregorian. 169, mathematically, has a square root of 13. Demir, he would become 4-1 and one for a UFC record with a loss. 41 is the 13th prime number. If you write out the number 41, it sums to 46. 46 date numerology on the Gregorian, the 169th day of the Gregorian year. And um, their last names, head-to-head, -head, Gematria, sums to 79. 79 is the 22nd prime number. Guam can sit on two losses for his career in his second UFC fight as Demir gets his second loss for his career. Maybe a bit of a two pattern there. On the flip side, though, if Demir was going to win this fight, well, today has 46 date numerology on the Gregorian, and he can get his 19th win in a row as Guam ends his nine-fight winning streak. 19-9, or 199, mathematically, is the 46th prime number. Today has 66 date numerology on the Gregorian, and Demir could become a perfect 5-0, and like 50 for a UFC record uh, with a, uh, a win. And if you write out the number 50, it sums to 66. Demir, he can also become 24 and 1 for a record in his career. And his name, first and last name, sums to 214. 214, 241. They're just anagrams of each other. Maybe it's destiny. And then um, one last thing. Him picking up his 24th win for his career today does have 24 date numerology on the Gregorian to go with. So that would be that one. Let's get to this next fight here. Albert versus Joquin. Joquin? Joquin? Starting with Albert, and then we'll go over Buckley's numbers. So Albert, I don't have a lot marked here, but it would be funny... 164 or a total span of 165 days since his 33rd birthday, he becomes 16 and three for a record in his career. Why would that be funny? Well, look at the numbers 16, three, like 163, 164, or 165 days since his birthday, 163, 164, 165. Just kind of goes together, I think, in a weird way. 116, 3, 164, 165. And you can also write out the number 16. 16, if you write it out. 16 sums to 33. So 164, 165 days since his 33rd birthday. He can sit on three losses and get a 16th win for his career. 16 sums to 33. 163, 164, 165. However, for Buckley... What would be weird and interesting is if he becomes 15 and 4 for a record in his career with a win, Albert can also become 15 and 4 for a record with a loss in his career. And um, the thing is, Albert would end his 10 fight winning streak with a loss as Buckley gets his third win in a row, 310 or, or 103. We'll just say 10 and 3, like 103. Well, today has 24 date numerology on the Gregorian. And 24 sums to 103. And... Um, Fifty-two days since Buckley's last birthday, and he can become five and two, like fifty-two, for a UFC record uh, with a win. And um, that's about all I have marked right now. I'll definitely, I'm definitely going to go through this again before, as I write it up to look at more stuff. But that's just what I have for right now, as I as I put it together and.
kind of glance over it really quick. But uh, yeah, let's, let's move on to the next one. Tim Means versus Kevin Holland. So if we're going to start with this one, I didn't. Yeah, this one was tough too. I didn't really have a whole lot marked. But Kevin Holland, if Kevin Holland was going to win this fight, um, what would I contribute to? I don't know. But it's 104 or yeah, 140 days till his next birthday. And he could become 10 and 4, like 104 for a UFC record with a win. 140, 104. They're just anagrams of each other. And um, the 23. Oh, no. Let's see. 23. Uh, three, one, sixteen. I mean, Kevin Holland, his name sums to 55. 23 sums to 55. Of course, that can happen at any time. It doesn't necessarily have to happen in this particular game. Or not game, but fight. Uh, I guess you can say Tim Means could get his 13th loss for his career. 169th day of the Gregorian. 13 times 13 sums to 169. He would sit on 31 wins with a loss, this being Kevin Holland's 31st fight for his career. And, um, yeah, this one didn't have a whole lot. This one's kind of blank. But for Tim Memes, oh, yeah, and also welterweight sums to 169, 169th day, square root of 13. It could be, it could mean Tim Memes get his 13th loss. But if that doesn't happen and he wins, this is what I would contribute to the win. Memes versus Holland sums to 159. Tim Memes could become 15 and 9 for a UFC record with a win. Could just be as simple as that. Outside of that, I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, but I just don't. Uh, I personally am going to have to look over this again before typing it up because I, I don't know either side. Um. Oh, I'm sorry, you guys. This one's not the best of one. I'm going to keep moving, though. Donald Cerrone versus Joe Lausen. Lausen? Lausen? Okay, so if Joe was going to win this fight versus if Donald was going to win this fight. If Joe was going to win this fight, it would almost be kind of similar to this right here. Albert, 164, 165 days, could become 16 and 3, 163, 164, 165. For Joe, it's 27 or a total span of 28 days since his birthday, and he could get his 29th win for his career, 27, 28, 29. Could have that same effect. Um, Donald Cerrone, he's just been losing, so I'm not too sure. Uh, oh, excuse me, I was yawning. I'm not too sure of... A specific number for him to lose but he has been losing uh, i just i just don't see anything really for the match overall i don't know i have more for donald cerrone but i just don't know if i trust it if if donald cerrone was going to win i just i can't find a whole lot for joe some of these fight night fights are are, are real tough the numbers are definitely not surface layer most of the time. Donald Cerrone, if he was going to win this fight, you know, 28 day of Joe's current age, he can sit on 28 wins for his career with a loss. This is his 28th UFC fight for his career. That 28 pattern right there can just play out against him. Donald Cerrone, he would sit on 13 UFC losses with the win as Joe gets his 13th UFC loss for his career. 13 times 13 sums to 169. It's been 169 day of the Hebrew Civil. And then today does have 30 date numerology on the Gregorian. 30 written out sums to 37. Donald Cerrone can get his 37th win for his career. And then he would also get his 24th win for the UFC on a day with 24 date numerology. So Donald Cerrone has a little bit more that I can pinpoint out. But I still got to look over it carefully because Donald Cerrone is just fucking losing. He's been on a, a losing path, so... I don't know if I necessarily trust how obvious these some of these numbers are. And I'll have to consider Joe a little bit more as I type it up. 
But that's what I have for right now. And then the last fight, Calvin Cater versus Josh Emmett. Josh Emmett, he could absorb and become my favorite number, my bias number as I call it. Josh Emmett sums to 128. He could become 18 and 2 for a fight record with a win. 18 and 2 or 182 and 128. They're just anagrams of each other. And it's a total of 281 days till Calvin Cater's next birthday. 281, 128, 182. They're just all anagrams of each other. It's the number pattern that uh, I'm very biased to. Uh, I just, for some reason, I just, I just catch it everywhere. But, um, and then Josh Emmett, he would become nine and two for a UFC record with a win, like 92. Nine and two, like 92. 92 written out. 46, 98, 44. 46, Dayton Rollins on the Great Gorian. 46 written out, sums to 46 and 44. So that can help him with a nine and two. And then. Calvin Cater could be in trouble because UFC Fight Night Calvin versus Cater or Cater versus Emmett sums to three twenty six. Calvin Cater he was born on March twenty six three slash two six. At first it's like well that could be a good thing, uh, maybe maybe not. It's tough to say because he could become twenty three and six for UFC or excuse me not the UFC but for his record overall for his career. 236 is just an anagram of 326. It's just an anagram of 326. So that could be some not so good news for Calvin potentially. And then for uh, Calvin to win this fight, today has 24 date neurology on the Gregorian. He can go ahead and just get his 24th win for his career. He would get a second win in a row as Josh Emmett ends his four fight winning streak to 442, like 24. Also, it's the 19th day of the third month for the Hebrew Civil, 193, the 44th prime, 44 date numerology on the Hebrew religious. Cater versus Emmett sums to 44. Could be a reason why Josh Emmett ends his four fight winning streak. And um, similar to potentially here, 27 28, could get his 29th win. 164, 165. Come 16 and 3. Um, Calvin Cater, 84, total spent 85 days since his birthday. He could become 8 and 3 for a UFC record with a win, as Josh Emmett becomes 8 and 3 for a UFC record with a loss. 8 83, 8 3, like 83, 84, 85 days since his birthday. His name sounds to 84. His name sounds to 42 as well, which is a reflection of 24, 2 and 4, 4 and 2. So uh, that's what I would uh, give it to right now. My stomach is growling. I'm super hungry. I haven't eaten anything all day. We'll go ahead and end this quickly. Uh, hopefully some, some of these thoughts of mine were coherent, understandable. That way you can get some use out of it. I really appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate the support. I wish you guys the best of luck on all your picks for uh, the UFC fight night. Hopefully you win all the money in the world. Again, I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate the support, and I'll see you in the next video.